According to the standard model of matter, the nucleus of atoms is composed of neutrons and positively charged protons. These, in turn, are made up of quarks and gluons. The nucleons inside the nucleus are bound together by forces that essentially originate between their subcomponents, i.e., between quarks and gluons. This force is called strong interaction. The standard probabilistic model used so far does not allow us to deterministically describe and explicitly determine the structure of the nuclei of individual elements. This deficiency is addressed by the proposed ring theory model, which allows us to create a model of the structure of atomic nuclei and thus determine the more precise spatial position of electrons on individual energy levels. The ring theory works with the hypothesis that three quark particles always define a plane. Based on this hypothesis, we can create a physical model of a proton and neutron in the shape of a ring. The resulting electric charge of quarks can be modeled as a time-varying, rotating, and ring-like structure creating the proton and neutron. The modeled gluons not only bind the quark models together but also mediate the energy transfer to maintain equilibrium throughout the modeled proton or neutron. The properties of quarks and gluons, characterized by the colors red, green, and blue, must, in the model, always combine to create a neutral white color at any given moment. If three quark particles define a plane and there is an exchange of energy between these particles, such as the motion of charges in one direction, we can associate this process with an electric current in a closed current loop and apply well-known laws of electromagnetism to it. The magnetic moment is a vector quantity of a planar current loop with an area of S, through which a constant electric current I flows, and it is equal to the product of the area and the current, oriented in the direction of the surface is normal according to Ampere's right-hand rule. Given that the magnetic moment has been demonstrated for protons and neutrons, we can assume that rotating or oscillating quarks carry their electric charges around the ring's perimeter, thus creating an electric current similar to electrons in a current loop. It has been experimentally demonstrated that protons and neutrons both possess their own magnetic moment, and their values were measured in 1952. The magnetic fields of the rings of protons and neutrons interact with each other in a manner similar to the magnetic fields of ring-shaped permanent magnets. Rings of permanent magnets with parallel magnetic moments on a common axis attract each other just as rings with anti-parallel magnetic moments off the common axis do. Similarly, a proton and a neutron placed on a common axis with parallel magnetic moments attract each other. Proton and neutron with anti-parallel magnetic moments placed next to each other also attract each other. In 1982, Kenneth Snelson presented his visualization of the electron structure of the atom at an exhibition hosted by the Association of Scientific and Technological Centers. This presentation included a demonstration of structures created using ring-shaped permanent magnets. The application of these structures to model protons and neutrons and the atomic nuclear structure was described by Professor Pavel Osmera in 2010. According to the proposed model of the ring theory, the atomic nucleus can be constructed from ring-shaped protons and neutrons using the following rules. At most, two protons with parallel magnetic moments can be connected on a common axis. A proton and a neutron with parallel magnetic moments can be connected on a common axis. Two protons with different axes can be connected through a neutron. One or two neutrons can be inserted between two parallel protons. It turns out that by combining these four basic rules, it is possible to create highly variable structures for the nuclei of individual elements known from the periodic table. Various phenomena can be explained through structural transformations, using visual representations and concepts, without the need for complex mathematics or probability calculus. The shape of these globules is determined partly by the repulsive electric forces of positively charged protons and the attractive magnetic forces of the proton's magnetic field and neighboring neutron magnetic fields. Ring protons and neutrons are mutually bound by a magnetic field created by the rotation of the respective electric charges of quarks within their rings. Because the proton and neutron have oppositely oriented magnetic moments with respect to each other, their magnetic fields superimpose and attract each other at the point of approach. However, these fields only interact for a quarter of their circumference. At the point of contact, both magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other, but after reaching 45 degrees, their effects weaken significantly, approaching zero. This is why we say that nuclear forces have a short range. In this regard, 
The ring theory and model correspond to experiments conducted so far, and therefore we can assume that there is no special, strong nuclear force, but only a strong standard magnetic force within the structure of both nucleons. In the proposed model of the atomic nucleus according to the ring theory, nucleons are not arranged in shells as in the case of electrons but form globules with a maximum of 10 nucleons each. These globules are gradually filled by neighboring pairs of proton-neutron in quantities of 2, 3, 4, and 5 pairs. These globules are connected through proton bridges proton-proton into more complex units. Using these globules, it is possible to assemble an ascending structure of models of the nuclei of individual elements in the periodic table of elements based on the number of protons and neutrons. Models of nuclei composed of globules can take on shapes not only spherical but also flattened ellipsoid, elongated ellipsoid, or even more complex shapes. Geometric models of some atomic nuclei of elements in the periodic table may exist in multiple structural modifications, allotropic structures. Nucleons in an atomic nucleus assembled according to the ring theory model have their magnetic moment. The rotation of charges is bound to neighboring nucleons through the components of the electric and magnetic field, thus creating deterministically and explicitly defined bonds. They can be described at any moment in time as a known system of a car gearbox. In the nucleus model, the magnetic moments of opposite nucleons indicate whether the flow of magnetic energy of protons is directed into the globule or out of the globule. This also determines in the model what magnetic moment an electron that binds to a pair of proton-neutron must have. It must always be anti-parallel. Elements modeled with a similar external structure of nuclei also have similar properties. In the periodic table of elements, one can observe that with increasing atomic number, the number of neutrons in the nucleus increases compared to the number of protons for stable elements. These neutrons change the structure and properties of the nucleus. They serve as stabilizers against the increasing repulsive electrostatic force of positively charged protons, but they can also change the character of the magnetic moment vector of the entire attached globule, influencing the possibilities of bonding between the same atoms. For example, the nucleus of a fluorine atom has 9 protons but 10 neutrons. According to the model of the ring theory, this neutron placed between the globules enhances the strength of the bond between strongly positively charged globules without changing the orientation of the magnetic moment vectors of nuclear nucleons. An atom of fluorine with such a modeled nucleus can form diatomic molecules due to the oppositely oriented magnetic moment vectors of individual globules. The nucleus of a neon atom has 10 protons and neutrons, but in its nuclear structure model, both globules are separated by an alpha particle which connects two globules with the same orientation of the magnetic moments of protons, preventing the formation of diatomic neon molecules, similar to helium, argon, krypton, and xenon atoms but allowing bonding with other elements. For models of isotopes of individual elements in the periodic table of elements, the number of neutrons in the nucleus also increases. If they are placed between two protons, they form a stable isotope. As a consequence of such an arrangement in the ring theory model, the repulsive magnetic force towards electrons increases, and the geometric dimensions of the isotope have a larger radius than the model of the same element in its ground state. If a neutron is inserted among other neutrons, the isotope becomes unstable, and through beta minus decay, the neutron transforms into a proton. Models of nuclei composed of globules can take on shapes not only spherical but also flattened ellipsoid, elongated ellipsoid, or even more complex shapes. Geometric models of some atomic nuclei of elements in the periodic table may exist in multiple structural modifications. The ring theory works with the hypothesis that the properties of atoms and the arrangement of electrons in the electron shell are largely determined by the structure of their nuclei. The ring theory makes it possible to create a model structure of the atomic nuclei of the elements and thus also makes it possible to determine the spatial position of the bonding electrons at individual energy levels. According to the ring theory, 
The structure and composition of the electron shell is determined by the modeled structure of the atom's nucleus, formed by the ring structure of protons and neutrons. The attractive force of the magnetic field of elementary particles and the orientation of their magnetic moment play a key role here. The structure of the electron shell is linked to this structure of the atomic nucleus. Although numerous models of atomic nuclei have emerged in the last 100 years, N.D. Cook in 2010 showed 37 models of nuclei, we would like to add another model of atomic nuclei based on the toroidal structure of protons and neutrons and their mutual binding by magnetic field forces. Using these structures, it is possible to assemble nuclei of all elements, explain the importance of nuclear structure for the formation and function of the electron shell, and demonstrate the necessity of neutrons in the construction of nuclear structure. This model is entirely consistent with the entire ring theory.